Okay everybody, on this pro analysis lesson, we're going to take a look at Roger Federer's one-handed backhand. We're going to focus in on his footwork. A lot of people when it comes to the one-handed backhand think that the really only way to hit it is with a truly closed stance where you come across. Um, in other words, this open stance one-hander is not all that popular, which is true, but it does exist. The thing I want to kind of fo uh, focus in on is let you understand that really it depends more on the shot that you receive that determines your stance and less on what you prefer. So we're going to look at a couple of Rogers and the first one he's going to hit a one-handed backhand with what I call kind of a neutral or a square stance. His feet are about like this and he's going to go ahead and, and hit it. And then the second shot he's more on the run so he definitely has to reach further and he's way come across so he's going to have a lot more of a closed stance. So again, this would be an open stance, this would be kind of a square stance, and this would be a closed stance. You're going to see when we look at him, it's going to have a slight effect on the follow through, which I think a lot of people will misunderstand on the on one handed backhand. I've heard many coaches say you really follow through up to here, and there's not much of a wraparound, but I think you'll see that this thing goes all the way. You can see it on the other side of Roger. So let's go ahead, take a peek at the footage from Roger's one handed backhand. You'll see that on this very first one that he's going to be hitting, he's going to go into a slightly closed or almost neutral stance. So if we kind of uh, pause here and look at and zoom in at his feet, they're not that crossed over. In other words, the right foot is not that much uh, to the right of the left foot. So as we watch this come forward, notice that stance. He's going to push off. He still has a lot of coil in the body. There's the point of contact right there. And then check out this finish because a lot of people think that's the finish right there but if you watch it keeps going keeps going keeps going and I think a lot of people are surprised really that that racket starts appearing on the other side of his head over here uh, that's not a typical assumption that people make they kind of think it, it finishes way back here they have this image of that as the proper finish but really we see here that Roger's wrapping it quite a bit around now this next backhand that he's going to hit you'll see a little difference in his footwork um, and how he lines up because the ball's further to his left he's got to go further to get it and there's a split step now here comes the coiling of the body and watch this time and we'll stop right there so you can see a huge difference whereas before the feet weren't that different. Now his right foot is way turned. So besides his shoulders being turned and besides his uh, waist being turned, you know, right in this area, um, his feet are very, very much more closed stance. And now if you watch the point of contact, you'll see he'll bracket will catch up. It'll kick through. One of the things I love about Roger is how much he watches the ball. You can see his eyes are still down. It's unusual that way. And let's check in again one more time on that follow through. You can see this case, partly because he's facing sideways more, it doesn't appear to go around as much. But really, if he was more open towards the net like he was last time, I think it would appear on the other side. So you can see, you know, it's starting to appear up in here at the finish. So um, both of those footwork patterns, one being semi open or we'll call it neutral, and the other one being. Uh, fully closed are going to have effects on how the swing and how the finish look. But you really need to have both of them because if people ask how does he like to hit a backhand, the correct answer is it depends. If he's way out wide, it'll definitely be closed. And if he's not so wide, it might be semi-stance or semi-open stance or even fully open. I hope that's helpful to you.